breathing in, there is awareness of breathing in. Breathing out, there is awareness of breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. In, out. Where do we suffer? The physical body and psychological mind. Injury, part two. Double teamed. Bodily injury under fearful conditions, such as experiencing a car accident, can and often does cause physical as well as psychological trauma. From the potentially severe injury one's body might sustain, as well as the entire experience being emotionally overwhelming, both of which requires physical interventions in treating the body's injuries in conjunction with psychological therapy to heal what very well could become a post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, if left untreated. Maimed, possibly for life. Child abuse is far from always just sustaining physical injuries. Oh no. Psychologically, a child can and invariably does become injured and traumatized through verbal abuse, mostly as criticism and ridicule, but also from threats of hurt or harm, all of which can and invariably does damage the child's self-image, self-esteem, and self-worth not to mention virtually obliterate any feelings or sense of safety and security that they may never outgrow. Perceptual and Actual Injury Although psychological abuse by itself can be especially challenging for any child or adolescent to overcome, let alone resolve, later in life, compounding their suffering with physical abuse invariably complicates their ability and even capability to heal as well as effectively grow from their experiences, because one injury was perceptual while the other was actual. One injury was inflicted upon the sense of self, while the other was imposed on the reality of being. 